हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ भक्ति गुंडेवार एंड टूडे आई विल स्टार्ट विथ न्यू सब्जेक्ट दैट इज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट वन दैट इज मैग्नेटिक सर्किट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द मैग्नेट वॉट इज द मैग्नेट सो मैग्नेट इट इज द पीस ऑफ सॉलिड सब्सटेंस विच हैज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एट्रैक्टिंग स्मॉल पीसेस ऑफ सर्टन मटेरियल सच एज आयरन एंड स्टील एट्सेट्रा और वी कैन से दैट the object which is capable of producing the magnetic field and attracting unlike poles and repelling like poles then history about magnet let me tell uh, one story about the magnet means history about the magnet so according to greek legend magnetism was first discovered by the shepherd whose name was uh, magnes and he uh, who lived in magnesia in greece so this magnes was herding his sheep through the mountains okay and suddenly uh, one day uh, he noticed that the ferrule of its stick and nails of its sandals got stuck to the rock means this iron uh, iron cap was um, attached to that stick and nails uh, iron nails was there which is attached to that uh, sandals and they are suddenly um, stick to that magnetic uh, magnetic rock and this stone was named magnite because of this uh, uh, name shepherd i mean so uh, uh, after the name of shepherd and the country uh, it was found in so it was also known as a uh, uh, lodestone because of its attractive properties so this is very brief or short uh, history about the magnet now properties of magnet means first properties when the magnet is dipped in iron fillings so we can observe that the iron fillings clings to the end of magnet as attraction is maximum at the end of magnet and these ends are nothing but the poles of magnet then second one is the magnetic poles always exist in pairs means always they are in uh, pairs means uh, they have two uh, poles that is a north pole and south pole and always uh, are in uh, different poles means there are not uh, monopoles means nn pole ss pole are not uh, um, exist they are always in pairs means uh, different poles ns means south north and north south uh, south uh, pairs then next properties whenever the magnet is suspended in freely uh, in air then it always points towards the north south direction then next one is the like poles repel means uh, um, like pole repels and unlike poles attract means south south poles repels north north pole repels and south north pole attract north south pole are attracts attract then uh, the magnetic force between the two magnets is greater when the distance between these magnets is lesser means when the two magnets are very close to each other then the magnetic force between these two magnets is greater as compared to when these two magnets are very uh, means uh, put uh, mean uh, away from each other then uh, shapes of magnet so these magnets are found in different shapes that is uh, we can see that needle magnet then horseshoe magnet bar magnet and ball ended magnet so this horseshoe magnet this looks like the horseshoe because of this uh, named as a horseshoe magnet and needle magnet is also called as a compass and this is used in navigation means in uh, a, a sea or water we cannot find the direction easily so that time this needle type magnet is used now types of magnet so there are mainly two types of magnet permanent magnet and electromagnet so let uh, let's see the permanent magnet so this is commonly used and this name is permanent because they do not lose their magnetic property once they are magnetized means once they are magnetized they are not uh, demagnetized easily and that's why this is known as the permanent magnet so for example ceramic or ferrite then alnico then samarium cobalt etc then second one is the electromagnet so electromagnet consist of coil of wire wrapped around the metal core made from iron means there is a one iron core and when this coil is uh, wound around this and when this um, uh, coil is exposed to the electric current then magnetic field is generated okay and because of this shows the magnetic property and this is called as and because of this called as electromagnet so here we can see here di diagram here we can see the actual means how it uh, looks okay actually how it looks so this is iron nails 
is nothing but the iron core and the coil is coil of wire which is wound around this and battery is attached to, across the coil when this current is flowing through this coil then this shows the magnetic property means they form n and s pole we can see in this figure means <clears throat> when uh, current is flowing through this coil then this shows the magnetic property if we remove this uh, battery when we remove the switch of this current then this not shows the magnetic property and because of this called as electromagnet means this is a temporary magnet this is not a uh, no, permanent magnet okay so uh, properties of electromagnets they are temporary in nature then uh, they are made from soft iron then field uh, field strength can be changed means uh, if current is increases in this uh, electromagnet then uh, magnetic field strength is also increases okay and uh, we can um, uh, in, we can increase the current by adding the more batteries okay and also polarity can be reversed by uh, changing the uh, this um, uh, polarity of the battery okay here one more point is there the strength of magnetic field can be controlled by controlling electric current means uh, by passing more current or um, if uh, uh, if we want to increase the strength of magnetic field then uh, we have to uh, increase the more current and if we want to uh, <coughs> reduce the strength of magnetic field then we have to uh, reduce the current flowing through this uh, coil okay i hope you understood this electromagnet and uh, permanent magnet then next so some basic terms are related to the magnetism first is the magnetic field so field is nothing but the area okay so this uh, magnetic field is the area around the magnet where we can experience the influence of magnet so this is a bar type of magnet and these are the field lines magnetic field lines which cannot seen by the naked eyes okay and this field magnetic field is shown by this magnetic field lines so now uh, properties of magnetic field lines from this diagram we can see that these field lines are uh, always starts from n pole and uh, they reaches to or enters towards the s pole externally but internally they exist uh, sorry they exit from uh, s pole and uh, enters towards the n pole okay means they always form closed loop then field lines have a both direction and magnitude at any point on the field and because of this represented by the vector the next one is the is it is denoted the direction of magnetic field then if you uh, next property is the means if you want to find um direction of any point on the field lines then we have to up we have to draw the tangent to that particular point okay then uh, next one is the uh, magnetic field is stronger at the poles because the field lines are denser near the poles okay so these are the properties of field lines now magnetic flux so what is mean by magnetic flux so magnetic flux is nothing but the total magnetic field field lines which are passing through the given area so from this diagram we can see that this arrow shows the field lines magnetic field lines and and these are the passing through the given area and this is nothing nothing but the flux so this is shown by the or represented by the phi or phi b so formula is phi b is equal to b a or b a cos phi okay so phi b is the magnetic flux b is the magnetic field a is the area and theta is the angle at which the field lines pass through the given surface area so si unit of the magnetic flux is the weber or fundamental unit is a whole second now third is the magnetic flux density we have seen the magnetic flux means nothing but the total number of field lines which are passing through the given surface area but flux density is nothing but the number of field lines passing through the given area but they should be perpendicular okay means how many field lines are passing through the given area but they form a 90 degree to the surface area then this is a called as a flux density magnetic flux density which is denoted by the b so as per definition the formula is b is equal to phi divided by a and uh, uh, unit is the weber per meter square or we can say it is the tesla now fourth one is the magnetomotive force that is mmf which is denoted by f okay so this magnetomotive force is the magnetic pressure that creates the magnetic flux in the circuit 
so let me give uh, let me explain one thing so here a conductor we can see there is a conductor and this conductor is at a rest condition so electrons are uh, electrons are in conductor is also rest condition because this conductor is at rest, rest condition if you want to move these electrons then we have to apply the pressure okay and this pressure is nothing but the emf here we can see in this second diagram okay means electromotive force in electric circuit but in magnetic circuit we have to um, create we have to move this magnetic flux and when we have to uh, when this pressure is nothing but the electromotive force okay and this electromotive force is nothing but the number of turns means f is equal to formula is number of turns into current so number of turns are measured in uh, turns and current uh, current unit is ampere so si unit of magnetomotive force is ampere turn and cgs unit is the gilbert then magnetic field strength so magnetic field is, uh, strength it is the force experienced by unit north pole placed at a point in the magnetic field so the formula is uh, it is denoted by h formula is fm divided by l fm is nothing but the magnetomotive force and divided by l l is the average length of magnetic circuit and uh, uh, we can uh, here put the ni that is the uh, magnetomotive force is number of turns into current divided by l this is the average length magnetic circuit so this field strength when magnetic field strength is larger than length of that magnetic circuit average length of magnetic circuit less so from this diagram here two conductors are there one is small one, one conductor is small and second one is the uh, big conductor okay so number of turns are both uh, both uh, conductor have uh, number of turns same current is also same that is number of turns 50 here is here is also 50 and current flowing through this uh, both conductor are same 2 ampere so mmf is 100 ampere turns because number of turns and current are same but this length is large and le here length is very less so field strength of this conductor is less and field strength of this conductor is uh, large so how uh, let me give one example so uh, do classrooms hai uh, ek classroom area wise thoda bada hai aur ek classroom thoda chota hai so uh, dono classroom mein same students hai 50 50 students hai okay but ek classroom mein jo bada classroom hai waha students aise dur dur bhi baith sakte hai lekin chota classroom hai to students ko pass pass baithna padta ठीक है बैठना पड़ेगा तो जो छोटा क्लासरूम है एरिया वाइज जो छोटा क्लासरूम है वहां स्ट्रेंथ कैसे लगेगी ज्यादा लगेगी तो और जो ज्यादा बड़ा क्लासरूम है वहां स्ट्रेंथ कैसे कम लगेगी बिकॉज़ वो दूर-दूर बैठे हुए हैं ना इसीलिए तो फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ भी ऐसी है लेंथ ज्यादा है तो फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ कम है लेंथ कम है तो फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ ज्यादा है और लेंथ ज्यादा है तो फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ कम है ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ sorry then relation between the b and h so b is the flux density magnetic flux density so this magnetic flux density is directly proportional to magnetic field strength and this proportionality constant is mu and this is called as a permeability okay so what is the permeability permeability is nothing but the ability of material to carry the flux lines means there is a one material how it will conduct this magnetic property so iron and steel have high permeability and wood have low permeability so there are some factors which influence the permeability that is nature of material then humidity and position of material in medium so there are two types of uh, mainly two types of permeability absolute permeability and relative permeability absolute permeability is nothing but which is denoted by mu and it is the ratio of magnetic flux density b divided by magnetic field strength h and relative permeability means uh, it compare with uh, air uh, permeability of air or vacuum so this um, ratio is mu r which is denoted by the mu r and it is the ratio of magnetic flux density in particular medium b divided by magnetic flux density in air or vacuum b naught so mag uh, permeability of free space is always constant that is a mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 so from this formulas we can find out one relation between the mu naught mu and mu r so from this uh, uh, formulas 
when we put this formula b is equal to mu into h that is absolute then b naught is equal to mu naught into h and mu r is equal to b divided by b naught that is the uh, relative permeability so from this uh, when we put this b uh, b divided by b naught mu h divided by mu naught h so uh, h h get cancel and we will get mu naught mu divided by mu naught so mu is equal to mu naught into mu r means uh, relative uh, absolute permeability is the product of relative permeability and permeability of free space then reluctance in electric circuit we can uh, we know that uh, resistance which oppose the flow of current but in magnetic circuit there is a this is there is a uh, reluctance which opposition to flow of flux and it is uh, formula is uh, which is denoted by s and formula is mmf divided by flux uh, we will see uh, in detail in next lecture okay so this unit is amp uh, ampere turn divided by weber now permanence permanence is nothing but the reciprocal of re reluctance and it is unit is weber per uh, weber divided by ampere turns so thank you guys uh, i hope you understood uh, understood the basic concept about the magnetism uh, some uh, basic uh, properties and um, uh, what is the magnet and uh, uh, history about the magnet if you like my video then like share and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you